Hello, 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 guys. This is Sainar Mods, and today I'm going to be bringing y'all another RGH and J tutorial video. Okay, we are going to be discussing something that we have discussed several, several, several months ago, um, and it's how to unban your RGH slash J the only reason why I'm doing this again, guys, is to do an alternative way rather than a USB. We are going to be using a file called Xbox 360 Neighborhood, okay? We'll be discussing all of this in just one minute, okay? So, boom, guys, you get this message. All right. You click on it. It says console ban. Well, you're probably thinking, well, I'm fucked. Well, guys, congratulations. You're not fucked, okay? Because I'm here to save the day for your feeble minds, okay? So, you read this and you're all devastated and whatnot, okay? But, guys, there is a way to fix it. Very, very, very simple way, okay? And let's go and discuss that and get right into the video. We get a weakness. You gotta see this. Alrighty guys, so go ahead and get on your laptop and make sure that your RGH is still on because we're gonna need it on for this whole entire process. Okay, so two things that you are gonna need is an Xbox 360 neighborhood. It's um, just a regular file. I will put it down below. I'll put the uh, download link in there so you can download it if you do not already have it. And then um, yeah, unbanned unshared KV, okay? So an unbanned unshared KV is just gonna look a little like this, a weird little number folder. And then boom, CPU key.txt, guys. Uh, the CPU key.txt is not important whatsoever, okay? They're just sitting with the KV. Only thing you are going to need is a KV.bin, but guys, make sure it is unbanned and unshared because if it is it, if it is not unbanned, or if it is banned, then um, it, this is not going to work, sadly. So, we're going to go ahead and click on Xbox 360 Neighborhood, open that file up. Guys, this is gonna be your best friend. This is where you put. This is how you put in all your files from your desk. You can just drag it from your desktop all the way to your hard drive. It's a lot easier than USB, in my opinion. Okay, and then you click on the. Well, we're gonna go back, guys. And if you do not already have your JTAG or RGH connected to um, neighborhood, you can find the IP address in XEX menu 1.2. All you have to do is, um, whenever you open XCX Mini 1.2, it'll open you, open you up in the game discovery. All you have to do is press LB, and at the very bottom, it'll say IP address, have a semicolon, and it'll have, um, about, I believe, nine numbers. Let's see, three, six, seven, eight, yeah. It'll have about nine numbers, and they will look probably exactly like this, okay? And then you add Xbox 360, and then you just click in those numbers, including the little dots. And you hit connect, and it will connect to your JTAG. Okay, now that you clicked on your JTAG, you click on the retail hard drive emulation, aka your HDD. Alrighty, so it will look a little like this if your um, thing is already preloaded. As you can see, I already have a KV.bin in here. That is because my console has been banned with a KV already in there, okay? So, now that we have that open, what we're going to need now is our KV.bin. Okay, so let's open up our WinRAR file. I don't care. Alrighty, so kv.bin. So, guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag the kv.bin over here. There we go. Right there. Okay, so if you already have a kv.bin file in um, Xbox 360 neighborhood, then it's gonna uh, pop this up, okay? It's gonna be like, would you like to replace the existing file? You're gonna hit yes to all, guys, because this means that you're just replacing the kv.bin that's already banned and it's already pre existing, okay? So, guys, now a new kv.bin is in your RGH or GA tag. So, the next step, guys, is all you're gonna do is close out a neighborhood, okay? And then after that, <coughs> reboot your RGH. That's all you have to do, guys. You don't even have to go to XCX menu or dash launch to just turn off your RGH, leave it off for a few seconds, turn it back on, and then guys, if you loaded, loaded it successfully, then it will, um, while it's turning on, turn back off, and then turn back on one more time. You don't have to do that, it does that automatically. It'll turn off um, automatically, and then it turns back on automatically, just after just a second, and um, it'll load um, up the profile menu, 
and then after you load a profile it should be unbanned okay you should be able to go online and play with all your friends if it is not unbanned guys and it's still banned that means you have a banned kv so more than likely got scammed just be sure about that guys and buy from me all right three dollars and seventy five cents easy peasy lemon squeezy Alrighty guys, thank you very much for watching another tutorial video.